Due to their rivalry for regional dominance in the Middle East, tensions between Iran and Saudi Arabia have risen in recent years. This geopolitical battle has had far-reaching effects on the entire planet, producing a potentially explosive hotspot of conflict. Hello, and welcome back to your favorite channel, The Amuse World. Give the video a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you think it adds value. Stay tuned to the end, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we examine how China may dominate the Middle East by exploiting tensions with Saudi Arabia and Iran. Same religion, but conflicting thoughts. Despite the fact that both nations belong to the Muslim world, their perspectives on how to understand Islam and exercise power are radically dissimilar. Shia Muslims dominate Iran, but Saudi Arabia practices an extremely strict form of Sunni Islam. As a result, their respective populations are split along religious lines, and there is intense hostility between them. A complex geopolitical situation Beyond religious differences, there are other factors at play in the rivalry. Saudi Arabia is supported by Western nations like the US, but Iran mainly depends on its own military might and assistance from Russia and China. As a result, there is now an unbalanced distribution of power in the area, with Saudi Arabia's military strength posing a threat to Iran and its allies. Numerous nations are attempting to defuse tensions between the opposing factions while being caught in the midst of the ongoing fight. Sadly, no substantial peace negotiations have been successful so far, and both sides still fund proxy wars in places like Yemen, Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon. The Middle East has become more unstable as a result of this conflict, which has the potential to trigger global crises if improperly managed. This complicated geopolitical position is why the world needs to pay attention to this fight. Therefore, it is crucial that we keep working to develop diplomatic solutions that result in the long-term peace and stability of the region. America's role in the current situation. Almost every geopolitical dispute in the globe can be linked to America, the self-declared world leader. This rivalry is not an exception as the U.S. has long attempted to inflame the already tense situation between Saudi Arabia and Iran. The USA explicitly want to stifle relations between Saudi Arabia and Iran, because if they develop into strong friends, it will be impossible for the USA to have any influence in the region. Numerous scholars concur that the U.S. engagement in this conflict has increased its risk and complexity. As a result of America's military presence in the region, Tensions have risen as both parties see a threat from U.S. actions. Syria and Iraq, which are currently on the verge of being destroyed, are a famous illustration of how the USA has a history of intensifying or even starting conflicts in the Middle East. Nobody is sure why, but America seems to be more preoccupied with Middle Eastern problems than its own. China comes into picture. False reports, according to some analysts, are being circulated throughout Iran in an effort to destabilize it and inflame the conflict between Iranians and Saudis. The USA is quite worried about losing control of the Middle East, and China is steadily fanning the flames. Saudi Arabia may be having second thoughts about the USA. The relationship between Saudi Arabia and China appears to be at its best point in history as a result of the leader of China's recent visits. And since China is a reliable ally of Iran, there is a potential that China will help to resolve the problems between Saudi Arabia and Iran. There would be no chance for the US to return to the Middle East conflict if this were to become true. Strong indications that Sino-Saudi relations are entering a new phase of rapid expansion were shown to the world by Xi Jinping's visit. The closer connections could put Iran, China's other Gulf ally, at a major disadvantage in its ongoing conflict with Saudi Arabia. China needs to be careful while dealing with both Saudi Arabia and Iran, because choosing one will generate a commotion and damage their relations with the other. In order to prevent China from becoming involved in the conflict, 
Beijing makes an effort every few years to maintain its leadership's good reputation diplomatically with both nations. Every nation benefits from this, and China can safeguard its own political and economic interests by doing this. Saudi Arabia has recently emerged as one of Beijing's key friends, despite the fact that China has traditionally enjoyed positive relations with both nations. Some have speculated that Xi's visit to Riyadh in December signifies that China is beginning to take a stand between the two nations. However, China's geopolitical policy isn't that weak, and analysts predict that China will soon start to reduce tensions or at least make an effort to encourage cooperation between Iran and Saudi Arabia. China is aware that the United States can forget about having a comeback in the Middle East if this occurs since only China has the power and the relationships to achieve so. We hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you believe will transpire in the Middle East and whether or not China will become a significant player there. Thank you for watching today's video. Stay tuned for more updates.